Wow, this is unbelievable. Helena, you're 10 years older than Derek? That makes you one year older than me. Do you know how insane that is? Good evening, Roxana. What exactly are you trying to get at here? What's so insane? I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean? How could you not get it when it's so plain to see? <laughs> this big age gap is just really bad, you know? There's almost a 10 year difference between you and your younger brother. Doesn't that make you really ancient and almost too old to be his sister? And don't you think that's weird? How could you be almost like a motherly figure to him? It's kind of gross. What are you saying is gross, Roxana? Have you ever met a person who's had a child at 10 years old? That would be impossible, so don't make such weird accusations. How can that be impossible? Having a 10-year age gap is pretty wild to me. You literally could almost be a mother. <laughs> You're definitely a much more older sister than a typical sibling. Well, I very much disagree with that, but whatever you say, Roxana, is there something else you really want to say to me? Well, because you're so old fashioned and just an old hag in general, I don't see how we could possibly get along. Actually, I don't feel like being friendly to you. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, what did you just call me? Uh, there is hardly a huge difference in age, but you think you can just call me an old hag? Do you seriously not think there's too much of an age difference between you and Derek? Uh, are you blind or something? You've already got gray hairs popping up on your head. <laughs> We've also got a decent age gap between us, so I really don't think we're going to have anything in common. Why would you go out of your way to tell me this? What are you going to gain from making me feel bad, Roxana? I don't get what you're trying to do to me here. Whatever it is, it's not going to work. Why would you turn around and say things like that? Well, I guess that's where our big age difference comes in, since I'm clearly more mature than you are. You know, I was really looking forward to meeting my fiance's sister and to see how well we'd get along with each other. When I met you for the first time, you were way older than I was expecting and I was really disappointed in that. It's creepy how you're so much older than Derek. Okay, Roxana, you really need to watch what you say to me, all right? How do you think it feels to the other person when you say such nasty comments? Don't you realize how much nasty comments like that hurt people? Maybe you're just one of those people who finds it funny to diss others. Fine, I'm just going to make this plain and simple. Would you just stop hanging out with Derek? It would make things a lot easier for me. <laughs> Since you're so much older, I already know that you're going to cause a lot of trouble for me in the future. You're just so annoying to deal with. I think it would be better to end the relationship with your brother as soon as possible. That would be great. <laughs> What is this nonsense you're talking about? Why are you acting like this? What did I do to you that makes you hate me so much? Are you seriously asking me to cut ties with my younger brother? You don't want me talking to Derek anymore, is that it? Well, if you put it that way, yes. <laughs> I don't want you anywhere near me, so that means you need to stay away from Derek as well. We're about to get married really soon, so it's better to keep the area around me clear of annoying and pushy people, okay? I don't understand what any of this means at all. I'm not even remotely pushy or annoying. Have you forgotten how much help I've given you? Don't you remember that I helped you get a job? Actually, come to think of it, I think Derek told me that you pulled a few strings for me so that I could get the job I wanted. But that has nothing to do with what we're discussing right now. <laughs> I suppose I'm grateful for that since I received a job offer. But as of today, I no longer need your cooperation anymore. It would be better if you just cut ties with Derek so the situation doesn't get messy. If you don't want to embarrass yourself at my wedding by showing up after someone cut you off, then maybe don't bother coming. <laughs> What? Why would it be embarrassing if I were to go to the wedding? That makes no sense, Roxana. I've got no idea what you're trying to pull here, but it's not going to work. You can't just shove me out of my brother's life that easily. If you'll excuse me, I'm not going to listen to this shamble of a conversation any longer. You need to take responsibility for the horrible things you've said. That's true, but I don't want you around, so I needed to let you know somehow. <laughs> Just leave my fiancé alone and nothing bad will happen to you. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Roxana? You're not going to do this to my family. There is no way you're getting away with this. I don't think it's a good idea to carry on this conversation anymore. I'm done for now. If you'll excuse me, I've got some things to do.
Derek, I need to ask you something. Does Roxana have some sort of grudge against me? She, she's being so rude towards me. Wait, what? Where did that come from, sis? <laughs> I don't think she's got a grudge. Do you think she does? I was expecting her to be more grateful, especially because of what you've done for her. Thanks to you, she's able to be a full-time employee. Well, I thought she really appreciated what I did for her, but that doesn't seem to be the case when she messaged me. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure what you mean, Helena. What did she say to you? Look, I don't want to go into too much detail about what she said, but she doesn't like that I'm 10 years older than you. Well, I guess she was surprised to know that you were 10 years older than me, but I don't get why she makes that her business. It's not something that we can change now. We're adults for goodness sake. <laughs> yes, I get that, but she was also telling me not to come to the wedding. Is it still okay for me to attend the wedding or not? Helena, what are you talking about? Of course you're allowed to come to the wedding. You're a part of my family, remember? It's only right for you to be there. But then I've got to go back to work because I've got quite a few things to do. I can only show my face for just a little bit and then I've got to go. Well, we can't help that your job's keeping you super busy. Also, please don't worry about what Roxana said. She's got no idea what she's talking about. There are times when I can't keep up with her because she's so moody a lot of the time. But maybe it's best to just go with the flow when it comes to her. <laughs> oh, really? Well, if you say so, Derek, I just don't want anything bad to happen to this family. I suppose you take it easy, too. Don't stress yourself out, okay? Okay, well, I better get going, but I really look forward to the wedding ceremony. I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. Well, I can't believe my wedding day is finally here. I am so excited, but oh my God, you haven't come to watch. Roxana, you contacted me yesterday about the venue being changed to somewhere else, but was that all a lie? No matter how you interpret what's going on, it doesn't seem like a wedding is going to take place. Huh? What are you on about, Helena? You know I'd never intentionally lie to you, right? It's not my fault you don't believe what I say. Did you do all of this just because you hate that I'm 10 years older than my brother? Do you not know how insane that is? Are you trying to change the venue on me so that you'd make me miss my own brother's wedding? Huh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember saying anything like that to you. Why would I send you to the wrong place? Don't you think that you're just being an idiot who's got no idea where they're going? Because you're such an old hag, maybe you just forgot all the wedding details. Okay, that's it. I have had it up to here with your distasteful jokes. They're not even remotely funny. You, you've gone too far this time. You laugh at me as if I'm such an idiot who has no idea how you treat me. You're going to regret what you've said and did to me a lot from now on. You know, I really don't think I will, my dear sister-in-law. It's so weird that I can call you that, the old hag sister-in-law. You know that you really can't blame me for you being a forgetful old hag. You should really get tested for dementia or something. I guess that's just what happens when you start to age quickly. You should do some daily brain exercises. Okay, I am so over this. You need to cut this crap out, Roxana. I am beyond the point of actually being nice to you now. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm scared of my old and wrinkly sister-in-law. Who's the one who forgot our wedding ceremony today, huh? You forgetting things is just going to cause so much trouble for people because you're so old and act like a grandma. Don't you think you've forgotten something, Roxana? Did you forget that you were supposed to go to your office today? Huh? What are you talking about? Why would I need to go to the office today when I'm having my wedding ceremony? You've been saying things like this for a while now, and it's getting really annoying. Do you really think I'd forget my own brother's wedding day? There's no way I'd forget my plans when I write everything down so I have constant reminders. I couldn't go because you ended up lying to me about where the wedding venue actually was, but you actually forgot about your job orientation today, didn't you? My job orientation? What on earth are you talking about? I haven't got a clue what you're on about. Stop making things up. Wow, the color from your face must be washing away right now. Did you seriously not know? 
The company that you work for is actually the company that I'm an executive of. How else do you think you landed the job, huh? I promised to let you know about it at the wedding, but you know things happen so I couldn't remind you. There's really nothing you can do if you're the one who's forgotten to go to your orientation today. Now, just hold on a minute. What is this all about? Are you seriously an executive? Is there really a job orientation for this position I got? I thought that you talked this out with my brother. Did you let it slip your mind or something, Roxana? Was it not mentioned during your interview the other day or the briefing you had over the phone? Are you kidding me right now? The orientation is supposed to be happening today? Are you being serious right now? Do I really have to repeat myself with you? Isn't that what I just said like several times? If you actually checked your schedule properly, then you'd know that it was scheduled for today. I was expecting better from you. It was surely recorded onto the documents that you'd received when you got the job the other day. Is it not written down? Oh, right. Yeah, I've just checked my files and uh, yeah, it looks like the job orientation was scheduled for today. Uh, I don't believe this. This is really bad. Why didn't you say something since it's my wedding day? This isn't the orientation that everyone attends, is it? Of course it is. All members of the company are supposed to attend a job orientation on their first day. It's your first day of work. You're not skipping your first day of work, are you, Roxana? You know that's not a good look, right? I'm not skipping work at all. You know full well that it's my wedding day and that it's been scheduled way in advance. I had no idea it would clash. In that case, you should have submitted a notification of your absence in advance. There would have been no problems otherwise. I was also wondering if you would even be able to do the submission correctly, but I suppose you didn't. I thought that you purposefully covered up having to do this so you could do the ceremony with no issues. I wasn't even thinking of doing that at all. I didn't even realize that this orientation was a compulsory thing. No, I think that you just forgot that it was happening and are just trying to cover your tracks. It, it says it's compulsory. Look, I need to know one thing. Is it true that you're a company executive, Helena? It's my first time hearing this information. I just heard from Derek that he thought I might be able to get a job because you had a connection in high places. Well, I wasn't going to tell you, and it's kind of on you for not asking more details about me. You know that this hasn't got anything to do with me or the company that I work for. I'm just an executive, and I'm Derek's sister, plain and simple. I guess you somehow managed to force your way into the company that I just so happen to work for. You really should do more research. I didn't know that you were in such a high-paying position in the company. If you are, you need to tell me things a little earlier. You know that's interfering with my job, and I can't allow that to happen. If you don't come to the orientation, you can't join the company. You said you wanted to become a full-time employee because you wanted to get all the welfare benefits that we offer. But I'll be honest with you now, my company no longer allows people to do that. Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean your company doesn't allow employees access to welfare benefits? I'm telling you now that since you've not shown up for your orientation, there's no way this company can hire you ever again. Please go and find another job that you can apply for. I'm sure there are other options out there for you, Roxana. Now, just wait a moment, okay? But I thought I was given the job offer by the company you work for. You're not really canceling my job contract just because I forgot to show up to my job orientation. Uh, surely you can make an exception, right? The job orientation day is also the day that you're supposed to start work, and that was explicitly told to you, Roxana. We're not going to hire someone if they're not going to show up to work on the first day. Did you really think you could play me for a fool today? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I'm not playing with you, Helena. I, I didn't know what was really going on, and it's my wedding day. I've been so busy getting ready. It means nothing. You just didn't read the terms and conditions properly like you were supposed to. Nothing is sinking into you, is it? You know you've said the most cruel things to me, right? You hated me because I'm 10 years older than Derek. You know that's a really stupid reason to hate someone for, right? Then you go and lie about where your wedding venue was because you didn't want me to show up. What are you, jealous of me or something? No, uh, come on, Helena. You take things way too seriously. It was all just a silly joke, okay? There were no bad intentions on my part. I honestly thought it would be okay if you didn't show up to the wedding since you're always so busy and stuff like that. 
And you've got no right to make decisions for me and to treat me like you've been over the last few weeks. You lied right to my face, plus you deceived me. I guess you might have a point when it comes to me telling you wedding venues change. I just didn't want to think that you'd actually try and show up. I don't want to hear any more of your excuses. I am very much over this game you're playing, Roxana. I showed up to the wedding earlier so that I'd be on time for the job orientation at the company. It's very easy to maneuver things around. I was planning to say congratulations and then leave to go to work. Because of you, I couldn't even see my brother, so I just wasted my time and energy. I'm not going to hire someone who'd lie and deceive people like me the way you've done to me. Are you kidding me right now, Helena? You're really not going to hire me because I accidentally sent you the wrong venue? I thought that I landed the job offer no matter what happened. I wouldn't have bothered with trying to get the job if you were just straight with me. You know what? Just change the date of the orientation so that I can attend and still keep the job. Then everyone wins, right? What did you just say? You want to go and reschedule everything just because it doesn't fit your schedule? Are you kidding me? Look, Helena, this is my wedding day, for goodness sake. I'm supposed to be walking down the aisle. If you're going to make me do this job orientation, it's just a matter of switching up the schedule just a little bit, right? You're an executive, right, Helena? You've got the power to be able to change things like that. It would be so easy for you. You can do that for me, can't you? What a self-centered remark you just said. I'm quite surprised that you turned around and said that. You really think that I'm going to change the date and time of the job orientation just for you and then inconvenience dozens of other employees starting today? Do you really think I'd do that for you after the way you've been speaking to me for the last couple of days? Well, uh, I really thought that you could just help me out somehow since I'm really counting on having this job to earn some money. I'll tell you now that I feel so uncomfortable doing any sort of favors for you since you've deceived me so much. It's not much of a mystery as to why I didn't want to help you in the first place. I think it's fairly obvious by now that I don't want to help you out. I can't be your ally and take your side. I can't deal with you anymore. I'm going to tell Derek what's happened. Wait, what? Uh, no, you don't need to do that, please. Uh, Derek doesn't need to be told what's going on. It'll just stress him out so much. If something like this were to happen to me, uh, there's nothing I can do about my job and I'll have to give up on trying to find one I've been looking for a long time. I want this wedding to be a success. I've been planning this for a while, so please don't say anything to Derek. It's not necessary. Well, it's too late, Roxana. I have already mentioned some things to him because he's got a right to know how his wife treats his sister. Excuse me? You've already told him? Are you kidding me? You actually said something to him? Why would you do that? Because we're family. It's only natural for me to tell him what's going on with me and what others have said. I was originally planning on attending the wedding and just showing my face for a little while before I had to go to work. But then someone went and stabbed me in the back so I couldn't see my own brother get married today. You know it was a terrible thing to do, Roxana. Of course, I had to say something to him since you lied to me and thought it would be funny to send me to a different venue. Nobody's laughing, you know. No, you didn't need to do that. How could you be like this? I hardly did anything to you. It was just a joke and I was going to tell you where it actually was happening, but you never replied. Stop trying to destroy my relationship with my husband. You're always interfering with our business and it's so frustrating. I just wanted to have the perfect wedding and for everything to go according to plan like it was supposed to. Don't you get that? Hmm. Well, I also found out another interesting thing from Derek. You do need to learn how to communicate with him better, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? I I'm so confused right now. Why are you trying to mess with things so much? You really are so annoying. I know that you owe him money. He told me everything about that. How could you just do this to my brother? You're such a spoiled brat. Are you kidding me? He told you about that? He said that he wouldn't say anything to his family. Ugh, now he's the one who's backstabbing me. You're all insane. So basically the short story is you promised him that you'd get a job before getting married so that you could start repaying him for the money you took. Up until now, you stopped looking for work at the unemployment office and also quit your part-time job. Is that correct? Looks like you've also been causing quite a few problems for not just me, but for my brother as well. How could you do this to us? That's why Derek gave me permission and asked me to help figure you out. Now I know the true meaning of why he wanted me to do this to you. 
But these things have got nothing to do with anything since you're only my sister-in-law. What happens between me and Derek is none of your business. Please, you know what's happening to me now. You know why I really need this job. Please, hire me. I will work really hard for the company. Why are you even saying this when you skipped your job orientation? You obviously don't work super hard to keep your job. You'll no longer be working for my company and also keep in mind that I don't recognize you as part of my family. I'm sorry, what? What's that supposed to mean? I, I don't understand. So you won't take me back? You can't just ignore me when I'm married to your brother. Well, Derek told me that he plans on cutting ties with you after all this wedding ceremony business is over. He doesn't want you in this family either. Hold on, what? He's not actually going to break up with me, is he? Just because of all these little misunderstandings, he can't do this to me. I wouldn't say these misunderstandings are little, Roxana. You treated me like crap and you've not paid back my brother's money to him. He doesn't want to interact with people who are toxic to him anymore. He wants to suck all the poison out of his life. He and I don't want to waste our precious lives on people who are going to lie and deceive us. We want to live a long life away from toxic people like you. Are you trying to tell me that I am poisonous? How dare you say something so cruel to me? I'm not like that. I, I didn't mean for all of this to happen. I just wanted you to back off. From the moment we met and up until now, Roxana, I have tried to do my best to be kind to you and help you out in any way possible. I even helped you land a job at my company, and I don't do that for many people at all. You've always been making sarcastic and unpleasant comments towards me. I thought it would be impossible to say the truth to you, but it really isn't impossible. I can finally breathe and keep you away from me. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. You are too hard to be around, and you just make things worse for me and my brother. Derek is really reconsidering why he even wanted to marry you in the first place. He hasn't got a clue what he saw in you. Are you kidding me? Why would he say that? I've done nothing but love him with all my might. I only have a little bit of financial trouble and it'll get fixed. It's our wedding day. He can't just ditch me on our special day. We're supposed to be husband and wife who work things out together. Well, he and I are really shocked by your actions and you can't take back what you did. Look, I'm really tired of talking to you and I am done with this mess. Why don't you and Derek have a little chat about your future and see what you can do, all right? I've got a job orientation to hold right now. Please, my dear sister-in-law, you can't just abandon me like this. I really need your help with your brother and what I did to you was just a joke. If you'll hire me, I'll sort things out with Derek and I'll be dedicated to him as a wife and we'll live happily ever after. It's okay for you to attend the wedding now, okay? Even if I turn around and take everything back that I said, it's too late. You made your bed, you lie in it, Roxana. Also, don't you ever call me your dear sister-in-law ever again, all right? It makes me sick to my stomach when you say that. All right, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye now. I've got a lot of work to attend to. Have a nice wedding ceremony by yourself. <laughs>After all the commotion that Roxana caused to Helena, Derek, and the rest of the family, she desperately tried to beg for their forgiveness. Of course, they didn't because they didn't want her treating them like that again. She also didn't end up with the job offer either. Derek was very disappointed that things turned out the way that they did, but he had no choice but to cancel the wedding after everything that came out about Roxana. Even though they legally got married, they are currently discussing their divorce procedures. It seems like Derek was totally taken aback with how Roxana was treating people and deceiving his sister. Considering what Roxana did, it was all self-inflicted and she brought it all on herself. Let's hope that she can find a job soon to support her lifestyle and pay back her debts to Derek.